Lady Margaret Stanley, me Beaufort. I was born on May 31st, 1443, in Bletso Castle, Bedfordshire, England, the only child of John Beaufort, Duke of Somerset, and Margaret Beauchamp. However, my father's untimely death, due to his involvement in the Wars of the Roses, resulted in his eventual execution by the Yorkists, leaving me without a prominent male figure in my life. He was executed just a few months after my birth. This left me orphaned and raised some questions about my future. My noble lineage gave me a significant advantage, as my family were descendants of King Edward III. However, my family connections also became a burden during a period marked by political turmoil. At the tender age of six, I was married off to Edmund Tudor, the Earl of Richmond and half-brother of King Henry VI. This marriage was arranged by my uncle, Jasper Tudor. This union, despite its untimely nature, gave me a claim to the Tudor name and connected me to the Welsh royal family and solidified my role in the political realm. Unfortunately, the difficulties of childbirth came upon me at the age of 13, and I lost my beloved husband, whose loss would linger with me for the remainder of my days. My marriage took place during a time of great conflict between the rival houses of Lancaster and York, leading to my husband's imprisonment and eventual death. His death forced me to endure a harrowing pregnancy and birth, during which I suffered considerable health complications. Although I endured great personal loss, my faith and determination remained unwavering. I found solace in piety and dedicated myself to religious pursuits. My deep faith guided me throughout my life, influencing my decisions and political affiliations. The Wars of the Roses, an intense power struggle between the houses of Lancaster and York, played a significant role in shaping my life and beliefs. Believing passionately that the House of Lancaster represented the rightful rulers of England, I became a staunch supporter of the Lancastrian cause during the Wars of the Roses. My unwavering allegiance to Henry VI and my unwavering determination to secure the throne for my son Henry Tudor made me a central figure in the conflict. I aligned myself with powerful figures who shared my allegiance, such as my son, later known as King Henry VII, who became a pivotal figure in the resolution of the Wars of the Roses. My involvement in several battles and my support of Lancastrian leaders like Jasper Tudor and Henry Tudor gave the Lancastrians hope, even during their darkest moments. My strategic alliances and political maneuvering contributed greatly to the ultimate Lancaster victory at the Battle of Bosworth in 1485. My loyalty to the Lancastrians compelled me to play an active role in the wars. Being a woman, I did not take up arms on the battlefield, but I used my influence, money and network to support the Lancastrian cause. But do not doubt my courage, I was a match for any man. I made great sacrifices to secure alliances and provide financial aid, even to the point of going into exile when the Yorkist forces gained the upper hand. It was through my unwavering determination and belief in the Tudor line that I persevered. In 1485, my son Henry successfully defeated King Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field, securing the Tudor claim to the throne. This marked the end of the Wars of the Roses and the beginning of a new era for England. My efforts weren't solely focused on securing the throne for my son. I also dedicated myself to the advancement of education. I founded two colleges, St. John's and Christ's, at the University of Cambridge to provide students with the opportunity to excel academically and to foster a renaissance of learning. Looking back at the trials and triumphs of my life, I can proudly say that I played a significant role in shaping the course of English history. Through my unwavering faith, political affiliations, and dedication to the Tudor line, I contributed to the resolution of the Wars of the Roses and the establishment of a new dynasty. My legacy lives on through my descendants, making me forever connected to the line of kings and queens that followed. After years of political instability and bloodshed, my son, Henry Tudor, successfully claimed the throne as Henry VII, effectively ending the Wars of the Roses. As a proud and ambitious mother, 
I tirelessly worked to ensure my son's success. I played an active role in shaping his policies and advising him on matters of state. Moreover, I helped to facilitate the arranged marriage between my son and Elizabeth of York, the daughter of Edward IV, unifying the two warring houses and forging a new dynasty, the Tudor dynasty. My early life, marriage and political influence played a significant role in the Wars of the Roses. From my humble beginnings to my impact on the outcome of the conflict, I demonstrated a remarkable tenacity and dedication to securing the Lancaster cause. Through my son's reign, the Tudor dynasty began, leaving a lasting legacy and reshaping the course of English history. I will forever be remembered as an influential force during a tumultuous political climate and as the founder of a line of kings and queens that left an indelible mark on England. I do hope you have enjoyed this short view into my life. And please remember, don't stop asking questions and never stop learning.